Back here is our old shuttle bus and we use that for everything. It's a great materials hauler and we've practically lived in that thing at times. You guys might have caught our recent video where we had to tow a huge enclosed trailer and we were dragging pretty low and we got stuck. Today I'm going to do an upgrade to the bus, a minor upgrade that's going to make a big difference in being able to transport and tow trailers. So let me get the bus backed up here and I'm going to be installing a brand new hitch on it. This hitch hangs super low and the back end of this bus hangs low enough as it is. It actually took me a few tries pulling this around the yard to find some place where the back end was high enough for me to get under here and work. I'll show you this hitch and I'll show you the new hitch and I'll compare the differences a little later. But I'm gonna remove all this, the whole hitch, and we're gonna put a new one on here. All right, you guys, it was perfectly quiet out here. I mean, beautifully quiet. And as soon as we start, as soon as we come out here to work, people start mowing. Oh, I put these bolts on tight. Should I get the impact? I can't do it. I don't know. Let me get my impact. I did it. I'm trying to show you guys before we take this off, the way this hitch is built, you see how it comes off the bottom here? It leaves quite a bit of room right here, but it makes it hang a lot lower than it needs to. And I also want you to notice how short this is. So the ball barely clears our bumper and it's hard to get a trailer on here. So that's what we're starting with right here. I guess I'll just stick a jack under here to hold it and we'll take the whole thing down. So here's the new hitch. We're gonna compare it to the old hitch. And right away, you guys can see this one comes straight off the bar, straight. Whereas this one was down and came off the bottom of the bar. That's gonna lift us off the ground quite a bit. And that's awesome. And then also, this one is taller. The stem height here is taller than this one is. So we're gaining a little more room away from that bumper. So it's just an all around better hitch. This one hopefully will help stop the rear end of our bus from dragging on the ground so much. And it looks a lot more robust too. I like all the metal plating on this one. It's definitely an upgrade. So I'm gonna go ahead. This one actually has the same brackets. It uses the same system that we just took off. So it should bolt right up to the same holes and be a pretty quick and easy installation. I got the new hitch bolted up, but it's only slid into the brackets. Now that I have it centered where I want it, we actually gotta drill our own holes through it it doesn't come pre-drilled because this is like a universal kit where you put it on your frame and then you drill your own holes where it needs to be. So I got a big old 11 sixteenths. I'm going to drill this out. Hopefully not burn out this bit. We gotta go through four of these holes so we don't want this to bit to get too hot. I should have some cutting fluid or some something to put in there, but I don't have the proper stuff. Hard to do. There it is, one hole done. So, 
you can see right there drilled it out the bolts gonna go in here now we got to do that three more times on the back side and then on the other side two times well as painful as that was I made it through we got the job done all four holes are drilled uh oh this tape might not be any good from leaving it outside in the weather look at it it's no good anymore let's get the outside off let's see if there's any good tape in here see the glue got messed up from being out in the sun now we got to get it bolted up the tricky part is the nut has to go inside that tube and the bolt goes on the outside and the hole is over a foot down the tube we have to find a way to get the nut all the way inside that tube to bolt it and that's where scraps of wood like this come in super handy you guys these are the leftovers from wood that i rip and some people think they have no purpose but what i'm going to do is tape the nut onto there and I'm gonna try to use some tape just to hold that still line it up and I got it so I'm gonna keep repeating that process guys I'm dirty I'm about to go get cleaned up but I wanted to show you the hitch is complete Th this is about the height that I had it before but I mainly wanted it to be higher off the ground right here and now we have this beautiful skid plate bottom and it's up like a few inches higher a couple inches higher than it was before and it looks so good and look how much space we have right here I'm gonna get the trailers hooked up so much easier now instead of having the ball right up on the plastic. I got an extra two inches here to work with. And that's so handy because when I was like backing up the trailers before, you know, you back up and you put it into park while well, the vehicle sometimes rolls forward a little bit. That's what it would do. And when there's no clearance, every time it rolled forward, you couldn't get it hooked up because you had to be dead on. Uh, since the trailer would hit the plastic, I couldn't get it back any further. Anyway, it's done, it's bolted, everything's back together. I'm super happy with it. And it was a cool project to do today. And finally get it done after driving around this bus with this dragon on the ground for the last few years. And there's a lot more improvements that can be made on this bus inside and out. I really wanna take the time to, to do it right. Just like I'm doing with our workshop. If you've seen the last few videos, I want to do the same thing with the bus where I go through it, I fix what needs fixing, and I redo it all knowing now what I know that I didn't know before. So I think I can do a better job with this as well. That'll be a job for another day though. I'm not getting into that right now. So I guess I'll just go get cleaned up and we'll find something else to do. Well, it's getting late, but I am working on one more job today. And that is moving these cars. We got two little project hatchbacks over here that we want to move out of this position we moved this is where the workshop was that bare spot and what we're doing is clearing out this whole area because we want to finish off some of the dirt work on this side of the house so we're getting everything out of the way so we're going to move those the the one on the end doesn't run doesn't have the engine hooked up yet and the this one runs but the battery died on it so we're probably just going to pull it and we're going to push them over here next to the workshop again that's it otherwise not too much happened today i'm just glad i got that hitch done and i've been doing some planning and thinking and we've been working on our puzzle as usual we take puzzle breaks we're doing a peanuts puzzle from the comic strip so i'm just gonna see how loose these cars are it's easier than starting up a big red thing yeah but how do we like move it back it's gonna be seized up because the brakes have been on for so long we're gonna get the riding mower. Okay. 
I don't know guys, this seems like a very Florida thing to do. We're in the dark pulling junk cars around our yard with a riding mower. Does that make sense? <laughs> Is that all you got? I'm trying to help, but really she's doing all the work. Wait! Here, just watch out. I'm gonna see if I can just do it. How much space do we need? I don't know. A few feet. Okay. Back you up. Mission accomplished. So this is where we're at on the Peanuts puzzle. The rest of it is hard because there's no colors in all these, it's just the filler pieces. And we're not going to time lapse this one because <laughs> it's too slow, too hard. It's actually a pretty cool one. Thousand piece puzzle. That's my favorite size. Yep. We're down to the nitty gritty. This one's the one I was looking at because it's an odd shape and it looks like there's a face here because there's a snowman. So there's probably a face that's probably tip of a nose. Mm. Look at, is it this? Yeah. Wow. Teamwork. Look at, I think this goes right here. Mm hmm Right here. Yep. So that's all we're gonna do of that. And I guess that's the end of our day. That's what we got done today. Progress made. Yep. It's gonna be awesome getting over here on the tractor. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grade all the land. It's gonna look great. I'm gonna smooth it out, clean it up. I think this is the year to clean up the property and make the house look pretty. We hope. Yep. We hope. Definitely. So we're trying. I mean, all we did was move the cars and stuff over, but it's still, <laughs> we're going to clean it up. So I guess that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye.